So I need to uh, make a, a thing to hold some hooks. Uh, these guys. And uh, I have this piece of weathered fur that I thought would work really nicely for that, but um, I, th I think it's a bit short. I don't, I don't know if I like the hooks hanging off the end. So, and it's got a really bad cup to it. So I think I'm gonna turn this into slats and then um, hang these off the slats. So I did a bit of figuring and it looks like these slats will need to be one and five sixteenths wide. Um, I have to remember to subtract the curve of the blade, uh, but I think that that should work out. So I laid out the pieces and set up a spacer, and uh, I realized I didn't really like the look of uh, the little boards with the gaps between them. So I went out to my wood pile and scrounged up some. Uh, more fur fence cuttings that have actually been sitting out for a while so they're fairly weathered um, so uh, I ripped them up and uh, reproduced some strips to go between those other strips um, to kind of help fill the gaps but uh, at the same time keep it looking interesting and some of the pieces were kind of gross and had ugly knots and things so I just cut those pieces out before I ripped them And then I ripped the pieces. So it's obvious to me now that I cut way more strips than I'd need. Uh, I really just needed a couple um, narrow ones to fit in between, uh, but I picked a, a couple of the bigger ones with um, that were circular saw cut and had a bit more character. Uh, and I'll cut those into narrower strips to fill those gaps so that there's there's some kind of variety. So with uh, all the pieces cut, I got out the original sign boards again and sorted them back out again. And, uh, and I picked which of those strips I liked the most. There was one with a rough edge I thought I'd like for this, but it, it just, I don't know, I wasn't liking it. So I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Uh, when I was doing this, I contemplated using unweathered wood. Um, and see, and, no, I didn't like that at all. So back to the weathered look. And then I dug out the hooks again, and it looks like everything's going to go together nicely. And then I cleaned up the ends of the strips and cut them all to length. I think I'm happy with it now. I took some sandpaper and distressed the edges of those pieces and uh, the cuts from before just to kind of make everything look a little more consistent. So as I was sanding the pieces I realized that I had um, I ignored the, the natural grain of that original plank, so I, I put them back in order so that all that lines back up and then those are those pieces just kind of interrupted a little. Also I like that uh, being less weathered, those other pieces, when I sanded them, it kind of exposed more of that the color of the fur, so there's a bit more contrast there. 
So on my compressor aired up, I decided I wanted a bit of a gap between the boards. Uh, just to kind of draw draw them out a bit more. Um, so I just grabbed some cardboard and cut it up and put it all in. And uh, I also realized that I need to cut um, a piece for the back, which is what I'm doing here. So as I started assembling, I realized the wider strips that I was using as a as part of my jig uh, would actually make um, better slats for the back. Uh, there's less of a chance of them splitting when I uh, shoot the nails through them. So sort of at the last minute, I decided that I should probably uh, put a bit of glue on these joints just to stop the whole thing from racking. So I got everything lined up and uh, drew some pencil holes through where the screws are going to go. I lucked out and none of the screws ended up in the skinny strips, so I was pretty happy about that. And for screws, I uh, and for screws I decided to use um, these brass screws mainly because they're the only screws I have that are the right size. I thought I'd do a little up close action on the screws. So after putting the last screws in, I realized I hadn't thought terribly hard or at all about how I was going to mount this thing to the wall. Um, so I dug out a piece of uh, another project I'm working on, uh, a reject uh, piece that happens to have a nice 30 degree bevel on one edge and I'm going to cut that up and turn it into a French cleat. I didn't have a piece big enough for the whole thing, so I cut one piece in half and stuck those to the back and uh, saved the big piece to go on the wall. You may have noticed, like I didn't, well I did notice, but I didn't think of it, that the screws are sticking through a bit, which would collide with the French cleat that's attached to the wall, so 
I needed to take care of that with a grinder and a flap wheel. And it seems to fit. And then I drilled and countersunk a couple holes so I could screw it to the wall. And of course I hit a stud. And it's done.